Welcome to my 20,000 subscribers. Huh? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 my God. That probably looks so ridiculous if my neighbors are watching. But, yeah. Uh, face reveals are kind of stupid. I don't know why I did that. Thought it'd be funny. Probably didn't turn out funny. So yes, it is I, Rowdy McDowdy, and this is my Cosworth Supercharged FRS. In this video, I took this car out to the track for the first time in quite a while, and the first actual decently sized track I've ever taken it to as well. And I figured it'd make a good 20,000 subscriber special, also the face reveal part. But people who care too much about face reveals are kind of weird, not gonna lie. But hey, you could have seen this face weeks ago because I launched a new channel and I've been posting all my IRL content featuring this car over yonder. So, if you want to see the stuff I'm doing in real life and what I'm going to be doing with this car in the future, go over to that channel and drop a sub where I also have a 54 minute long version of this video. Yeah, there was a, there was a lot of talking, there was a lot of driving. And I had to trim it up quite a bit for this channel because most people probably won't stick around for that long anyways. So if you prefer the longer version, go over here and give it a check. Give it a check, yes. On another note, thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy this special. I also have a 20,000 subscriber Q&A coming next week. It's been taking me a while to get to working on that one, so I will start working on it soon. But other than that, enjoy the uh, the IRL track footage for once, instead of Gran Turismo stuff. Oh, spot focus is on. That entire clip is probably ruined, but I don't care. Enjoy the video. Salutations, everybody. Today's somewhat of a special day. I haven't mentioned this on the channel before, but a couple months ago I retired from the uh, FRS from track use because I had an exhaust smoke issue. Uh, yesterday I changed the PCV valve or the SEI motors valve, so theoretically that should fix it. Uh, we're gonna have to keep our fingers crossed, but today we are at Harris Hill Raceway in San Marcos, Texas. Uh, I gotta make sure I don't miss my turn here, but I've never been to this track before. Uh, several of my friends have uh, memberships here, and I'm going as a guest, so that's pretty neat. We're gonna not take it 100%, but I do want to get a feel for the track, see how I like it, and uh, we'll just go from there. So let's get to it. This place looks a lot nicer in person compared to all the GoPro videos I've seen. So, like I said, I've never been on this track before, so I figured it'd be a smart idea to get a ride along first so I can get a feel for the track and everything. This is Victor. He's gonna Howdy. be my he's gonna be my tour guide for today, I guess you could say. Uh, he did a review of my FRS several months ago, so if you want to see uh, a non-owner's review of my car, check his video out. I will link it in the description. So yeah, I haven't been in in a ride along on any track besides driveway, like during the first class that they have. This track is very hard to kind of get the driving line down, but once you do, it's uh, it's it's pretty easy to master, I should say. So hard to learn, easy to master. Uh, there's two configurations. We're on the clockwise configuration, is what usually everyone knows. So um, yeah, here we go. So we're coming in out of pit lane. We're at 120 horsepower. E36 right now, 
18. So this one right here, we'll kind of talk about this turn a little bit because it's very forgiving. It lets you roll out pretty far. And you want to aim for the cones, of course. So aim for the cones. There's a little hop here. Yep. <laughs> I bounced my head on the ceiling. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> set up it's uh it's either a double apex or a late apex depending on how you want to take god damn these tires grip Ooh, so this nicely. hill holy holy crap uh this guy here you yeah. roll down that that hill that's a lot of fun right there yeah it's like a three-story drop coming out here wide this is the straight you go to the peak and you go flat out through this little peak we want to set up over here and right inside here Ooh, oh, they're not going to <laughs> Hopefully that has stabilization of some sort. Come out here. A little bit. Another late apex. Follow that cone. Boom. Exit outside wide here. Nice and easy here. This guy. Then you can get let off and toss in or just tap brake. But with this car, we're just going to kind of stay inside. You want to ride this curve. Aim for the south side right here. Boom. Keep in it. You want to stay pinned alongside this right here. Stay in there. And then down here. You want to kind of just let it straighten out a little bit come down here and this is uh, kind of a late apex as well out and oh yeah we're gonna get there eventually don't worry this little guy little guy's truck and you want to ride this one inside and start letting off the steering a little bit here just let it straighten out right here you can tap and brake but here we'll just kind of go inside because this car doesn't have a whole lot of power this one right here you want to set up right here enter a little bit earlier than you think Flip this guy, and you want to fan out, like fan out all the way over here, and whoop, do the front again. Great, taking it right now. Coming in, dive off. Real deep. Man, these tires want more and more and more. Yeah, so what are these? We're running RT660s right now on this car, and these tires are, these tires are incredible. They're not even heated up yet. There's there's still a little bit of give, but the sidewall is not flexing a whole lot at all. Uh, they're extremely planted. I love these tires. I love this car because it's on the bar. It's on PC Racing Boiler. So this car is uh, also, I think, on some, I can't remember what brake pads, but that's all you need. A I did a, point, point. <laughs> a little point point. I did a video on this car and I, I haven't driven it on track, but. Uh, Needless to say, this is an incredible chassis. I love the E36. Like, look at this guy. Just like pirouetting in there. It's incredible. Planted. Good. It needs more power. This, this chassis is built. I'm hanging on for dear life with just my feet planted to the floorboard. Me too, brother. <laughs> and what? Ah. You're going to make me want that three now. <laughs> it's totally worth it for me. <laughs> Woo. Now we're heated up. Oh, Whoa. how many G's are we pulling? All the G's. That's how many. God, this car is so much fun. Oh, slow car fast is incredible. <laughs> Rip my back. Yeah. I just, I don't want to stop driving this car, man. Yeah, I can tell. You know what's weird about it? I like it because it's quiet. It's super quiet. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, it's weird. It doesn't sound like you're going fast, but it definitely feels like it. I am, I'm going fully pinned in this car. With this motor, it's an economy-based motor back in the day. We're, we're probably getting still like 24 miles per gallon in this thing. <laughs> The tank, God. the tank on this thing, so I actually got to borrow this car for a couple weeks while my M2 was in the shop, and the tank itself is like maybe 12 gallons or so, and I filled it up. Two weeks later, it was maybe down half, maybe, and I drove a lot. That's car. insane. It's insane. I drove Especially the hell out of it too, like hard. I just spent 45 bucks on a full tank this morning. Oh, that's so. wonderful. Yeah. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this hill, fun. I know for sure I'm going to spin out so many times. Uh, on. People do spin out here. That's what all those tire marks are yeah. over there. Let's go. <laughs> cool down laps. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Well, how many laps was that? Like five? Yeah, Four? probably. Are you beat up right now? Yeah, I'm spanked okay. already. <laughs> oh. I can keep going if you want. <laughs> yeah. I definitely won't be going that fast on my uh, Firehawk okay. Indy 500s, <laughs> but uh, we'll just see what happens, I guess. Baby steps. The, the, the biggest thing here is not going fast today. It's bringing the car home in one piece, yes. and I mean internally too with that engine. Yes. So there's one person that's very nervous about his uh, boxer engine issues. It's this guy. I don't blame him. So yeah, this is what we just took a rip in. E36 is on RT660s. Uh, I don't remember the width he told me. Uh, where does it be? Where it be? Where it be? Wow, these are 255? I could fit these on my car. Shit. Yeah, that was something. Um... My car has a lot less grip than that, but it should still be pretty decently quick. I'm not aiming to put down some fast lap times today because this is a brand new track for me. I don't want to go 100%. Number one goal is to take the car back home in one piece. So I already, uh, I already emptied everything out of the car. So I think, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, head on out there do some not some hot laps but just some practice laps get used to it and then maybe later we'll go full send who knows but uh unfortunately i have to resort to the gopros to film this part so enjoy that all right so first session this is just a, a learning session i'm not really gonna go full send just yet maybe later not yet we'll see how the car does it's kind of more of a shakedown Take your time, check the traffic, I think we're clear. Got tons of real estate. You have to queue up right here? Like what you No, get? it's fine. Don't keep on going. I was just checking for traffic to see if there's anyone around, that's all. Good. Carry that. Remember, no, 
have no sharp inputs here, just kind of let it ride down. Let it ride down, that's fine. Yep. change turns are definitely tricky yeah as you all may or may not know <laughs> I think I need more camper too I just get very understeer in that. It, 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 so your understeer happens mid corner uh, which yeah a little bit more camber would dial in just a little bit better uh, because I noticed your, your initial turn in is, is great but it could also be uh, rolling off the brakes as well and uh, doing some trail braking. So that, that's the thing because you might be braking a little bit too early and then need to like just kind of like roll off and carry that inertia. So that's that's one way I come at understeer if my car doesn't have enough camber. Of course at the cost of brakes, you don't want to overcook them. driveway after I don't remember if it was 10 or 20 minutes but it was full it was bad so we'll see if this uh, PCB valve did its job so that was a solid first practice session in the old FRS uh, I definitely did not ring it out 100% on the track uh, I was kind of going like 50% throttle if anything because uh, first of all I needed to learn the track to begin with so that's just a smart thing to do and uh, I also want to see how the new PCV valve is doing because I don't know if it's going to dump way more oil into the catch can or stop most of it. So did a light session. I just checked the level and it is bone dry. So um, that could mean it's, that could be a good thing. Uh, I have to wait till I have to really get on it. Uh, it just means that the PCV valve isn't faulty at least. 
Um, the old track I used to go to, which is uh, Driveway Austin, is actually now closed, so unfortunately we won't be going there anymore. But on their smallest layout, it is like a 35, 36 second long track, at least in this car. And after about 10 to 20 minutes, this thing will be filled to the top. It's like a whole beer can. So uh, that was really concerning to me, uh, even with the catch can. I had this other issue where after I stop and leave the car off for uh, a few minutes, start it back up, I would get blue smoke out the exhaust. So burning oil, uh, it wasn't, uh, it's not a valve stem seal because it would have kept going if it was. It's not piston rings because it'd be doing it all the time. So fairly confident it's a PCV. I'm going to go out for a slightly uh, more intense session after this. and. Just keep upping the ante in there, or from there on, see how the car responds to it. So, other than that, this track is sick. I was a little skeptical about it at first, because I've only seen videos of this place on, like, GoPros and stuff. So, GoPros make every track look bad. Now that I'm actually here seeing it in person, that hill is huge. That drop-off is quite intimidating at first, because, like, it's literally just a blind drop whenever you get to the, uh, the middle of that corner up there. But it seems like a super fun track. Um, if I get a membership anywhere, it's either going to be here or another place near Fort Worth called Eagles Canyon. I'm going to have to move up there if I do get an Eagles Canyon membership, but um, it's either going to be this or that. So, having a blast so far. Going to try to come out here more often because there is a guest thing. So, I can come out here like once every three months or so and get my fix. The real moment of truth is when I start it up. Are you gonna smoke? I really wish this lens zoomed in more. All right, so I'm well aware that the audio through the GoPro is no bueno. So anything I need to commentate over, I'll have to scream it so you can hear me. But uh, here we go with our second sesh. I'm gonna push it a little bit harder this time. Still not gonna go 100%. I'm gonna save that. Until next time, probably. This might be my last round or something. It is only my buddy's lead.
Mortal Sin. Holy hell! This thing hauls ass on a track like this. I don't need any more power. This is perfect. I am 100% satisfied. What it needs more is it needs more grip and it needs more brakes and probably some aero and then it's perfect. I love this thing the way it drives so far. That was not half bad. I just need to learn the track. There's some spots where like my instincts are kicking in over my brain and like I'm missing a few apexes, breaking a tad too late, breaking way too early, but as I get practice with this track, I'll adjust to it. I definitely need to download this track on a set of Corsa so I can uh, do a lot of practicing. Woo! So that was the true stress test of the FRS. I'm gonna shut her off, check the catch can again, let it cool down and start it back up. If everything's good, then I think we have a track prepped FRS once again. But holy hell, that was awesome. Damn it, now I need a $3,000 membership. If you made it this far in the video, smash that like button. Help a brother out. I'm going to take my sunglasses off so I can see the screen. It's a problem with polarizers. So, car has been sitting for a little bit. Check the catch can. Still almost bone dry. There's a tiny, tiny bit in the bottom, but that's completely normal. Check the oil level. Still exactly how it was. Next and final test. Starting it. Moment of truth. I don't know if it's my eyes fucking with me or what, but I don't think I see any smoke. Other than that, I think it's good. So we're gonna go out there and do a few more laps. Yusef wants a ride along, so see how he likes it. I think you'll like it a lot. It's very like, your channel vibes. <laughs> Probably. It's like the most Gran Turismo looking car. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny, like the difference in like the way that my car has to drive versus a real drive car. It's like really aggressive. It's like violent. Because to get it to turn, I have to like give it really weird steering input or brake input. But it's, yeah. it's, so it's super fun to ride in. It's my favorite car to give people ride alongs in. Because <laughs> the BRZ was just like kind of like this, you know, you have to drive really smooth. Yeah. This wasn't as fun as the, uh, the BMW though. That yeah. thing was just hooking everything. Yeah. So third and final session complete. Car did really well. We're gonna get a ride along in Yusef Civic. He's done quite a bit of uh, stuff to this. It's on the same tires as a BMW earlier, so this thing should really hook. So this is my buddy Yusef. He owns this uh, sixth gen, right? 
Uh, this is an 8th gen 2009 oh. Honda Civic Si. It's a stock motor with intake, exhaust, and uh, a header. And it's got a bunch of suspension mods to it. It's a super fun seat time car, very aggressive, bumpy slide. Yeah. <laughs> Not super fast, but it sounds like it is. Yeah, I can't wait to, to experience it. Yeah, the intake sounds amazing in this thing. And it revs to almost 9,000. It revs to like 8,600 RPM. Right now, this makes like 220, 160, something like that. Uh, 220 horsepower, good. 160 torque at the wheels. Oh. And it revs revs really fast because it's got a lightweight flywheel. I don't think I've had a ride along in a front wheel drive car. I've only had like very few ride alongs so, in general. Front wheel drive on track is hilarious. It's like you have to just punish the car to get it to turn. And I have a reverse stagger, so it rotates okay, but it's still kind of funny, like versus driving a rear wheel drive car the way you have to drive this. It's very, very, like a lot of throttle and brake steering and a lot of like weird inputs that you wouldn't be able to do in rear wheel drive. And the car gets very squirrely, so it should be fun, a fun oh, ride along, boy. hopefully. <laughs> reactions first. Questions for my Q and A was, uh, what was the most fun your car had? Uh, what was the most fun car you've driven or ridden in? Yeah. 
and this is number one immediately. Yeah, it's awesome. So, you know, I like, I started out with setup this whole car myself too. It's like complete DIY. It's, it's the funny because the motor's almost stopped. It's just like basic bolt on to the back. But the whole track, the whole like uh, suspension and brakes and everything, I, I did myself. Yeah, that's absolutely crazy. And you haven't put that much money into it either. It's only, I'm in mean, this car like eight or nine grand. That's insane. And it's pretty fast. I mean, like, it's not like, it's not like gonna get any track records, but if you keep up with like, at a track day, I can keep up with pretty much anything. Yeah. I'm gonna need coilovers and uh, RT660 City. Probably still only be as good as this. Yeah, and I'll, to be honest, like, we're, I feel like there's still a lot more time under the brakes. Because right now, the car's so bumpy in the braking zones, I'm having to brake really early. Yeah. I'm gonna be sore as fuck tomorrow. I can <laughs> yeah. yeah, this car is really stiff. It's like 20k rear spring, so it's very bouncy. Head spot from the sun, probably didn't even see it. But the thing is, this car, it does, like, other than oil temps, it never gets hot. So I can just thrash on it. Like, we got the same lap time that every single lap that session. Yeah, and that, that was like a... What were those lap times? Like 130s? Um, 130 flat, and then my PB is like a, a low 129. But I'm still trying to brake as late as I was able to before after rebuilding my brakes. Yeah, I'm probably in like the late 130s or something like that. No idea though, but I need to yeah, get a lap did timer. Like 130.5, 130.2. My max speed was only 95. The battery flew out of my GoPro. I didn't have the door on it. That's funny. But you see, like, it's literally just a stock motor. I rerouted this coolant line so I could set up the intake like this. But other than that, stock radiator, stock everything. Just a header, an exhaust, and an intake. The spot focus thing keeps turning on. I gotta focus more on filming, but... Yeah. That was... That was fucking incredible. Yeah, it's a symphony. It, it's like, yeah. Especially like I haven't experienced something like that before, so yeah, and it's really stiff. So this basically handles like as close to a race car as you can get, yeah, without spending a bunch of money. That it, I had it had me wondering like shit if this is like this fast around the corners. Imagine like a a GT car or something. Yeah, well even your car, even though it's McPherson, like you set it up right, that thing will blow the doors off of this in a corner because since you're rear wheel drive, you can pitch it in a lot smoother. You see how I have to like do crazy shit with the brakes to get the car to turn? Yeah. And then it almost pushes like crazy in the front and like you see my hands just constantly like that. So I can I can rotate that pretty good with just the throttle. Yeah, exactly. So, so that would like really uh, with a lot of camber and like ball joint correction and stuff like that, uh, those things handle like other on rails. All right, I am spanked for the day. That was incredible. I'm definitely gonna come out here more often. Don't know about a membership though, I still live too far away, but this thing hooked, and that thing hooked even harder. I, I need to get me a set of RT660s. For sure. Focus, you fuck. Thank you. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. AC is blasting, cause it is a doozy out here. But holy shit. I found something else to drain my bank account on, so that was a blast. Uh, ridden a couple very, very fast cars, uh, at least compared to what I'm used to. Some of y'all might think, oh, those aren't fast, they don't have a thousand horsepower. But whenever you ride in one on track with that amount of grip, and like, I wasn't, I didn't have a no shit handle to hold. I was holding this heavy camera the entire time, so that made me like throw around a lot more than you'd think. So this zoomed in all the way. No, it's not. So, uh, with that, hopefully we'll be able to come out here a lot more often. The car did phenomenal. Um, it had zero issues whatsoever. And, uh, honestly, I think it's ready to start hitting the track more often again. So, I'm going to try to come out here at least, like, once every few months. Uh, if I get a membership, I could literally come out here as much as I want, as long as it's a member day. But it's expensive, and I live too far away for that, so I'm just going to settle on the guest fees. No big deal. I do want to come out here more often. I want to drive some more cars. Uh, I want to work on this thing, get this thing faster. It could use more grip and more braking power. So that's probably what I'm going to focus on. It does not need more engine power. It's perfect the way it is. So if you guys are watching this over on the main channel right here, thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. It's crazy. I was only like at 4,000 before GT7 came out, which was two months ago. And now we're already blowing past 20K. It's absolutely mind blowing. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, make sure you support the channel by leaving a like and a comment. That's all you really need to do. Anything extra is obviously much appreciated. If you're watching this over on my vlogging channel, which you don't know what it is, it's right here. This is an extended version of this vlog on that channel if you guys want to go watch that. So, 
all of my future vlogs and stuff are going to be posted on that channel if you want to see them. If not, gaming content is still going to be the normal on the main channel. And that's pretty much it. So, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Rip my bank account.